the most dangerous situation you found yourself in? In the wrestling business or somewhere yeah. else? Uh, we'll stick with the wrestling business or... So the, okay. Yeah, we'll stick with the wrestling business. Dangerous position? No, situation. Probably on the scaffold match. Me and Dennis Conjure was in Chicago. And on one end, of the, one end of the scaffold match, he hit me and, and I leaned on the rail like, like the ropes. The rail swung, swung open on me. Ooh. And it swung open on me and I, I could see these people down there. I thought I was a goner. But I was able to slam it back. When I slammed it back, it took my middle fingernail off. And wow. then if you ever watch the tape, you see I got that bar in my hand. And I grabbed Dennis by the hair of the head. I was hitting him with that bar. <laughs> but that's when my fingernail went off. How does how does one work a scaffold match properly? Because I think there's only been one really great one. Uh, or only a couple of great ones. How do you make a scaffold match exciting? Uh, first of all, in, in our in our in, when we first did it, we only had we only had one rail. So Rick I, I had to get up Ricky, Dennis, and Bobby was scared was scared of uh, heights. I'm not scared of heights. I'd get up there and I'd shake it. And all three of them would be cussing me out. Stop it. Stop it. I'd, I'd shake it more. But I, on the first night, I didn't stand up there and spit my legs. Ricky had to come through my legs to get to them. That's how we – then the next night, they put two of them up there together, and it was kind of wobbly. And they had little spikes sticking out. You got through wrestling, you had cuts in your tights and on your arms. So the next night, they put a ru rubber mat across there. That was even dangerous dangerous because the more you sweat, the slipperier it got. So then Rick, the next night, Ricky got some uh, stuff for the bowling shoes you spray down. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's sticky. Now you're walking like a damn statue. <laughs> and that didn't work. But uh, we, we came through it. And, and now that I watch it back, I remember in Chicago when Bobby Eaton was hanging, I – I put myself hanging over beside him, and I'm kicking him with my legs like this, not even thinking about, hell, if he dropped, if he grabbed my legs, hell, I'm gone with him. You know, not even thinking that. It never entered my mind. But looking back, like, boy, that was really dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. How does one take a fall from the scaffold as, quote, unquote, as safely as possible? You don't. <laughs> you don't. You just pray. You don't go feet first. I know that. Yeah, they drop feet first. Oh, really? Hang, hang and let go. Hang and let go. That's how Cornette blew both knees out. 